Hey guys, it's me, Lyriel, if you're new. But before we get started, I actually have some news. So, if you watched my video from last week, you'll know that I got a pet fish. But, he has recently left this world. I didn't kill him or anything, if you're wondering like that. He jumped out of a hole in our aquarium on the side, I'll show you guys. Which is why we now have saran wrap right here. I tried to put him back in the tank, but he didn't make it. So sadly, Jamaica is not here anymore. We had his funeral on Sunday. We buried him. But since then, I've gotten a new fish. I know that may seem like I moved on fast, which it was a little bit, but it wasn't because I didn't like it. It was just, you know, want another fish. So now we have Indigo. He is a Delta Tail male, and he's really pretty. I like him. I miss Jamaica, but I really like Indigo as well. I'll show you him right now. There he is, just swimming. For some reason, it's not focusing though. But there he is. But anyways, welcome Indigo, RIP Jamaica. Now that we're done with all that sad news, let's get on to the video. So I'm starting out by trying to figure out where to put the water. <laughs> And then, um, I'm just kind of moving the paper around, so it's kind of weird. Oh, there's the watercolors coming in. Moving the camera, just around. Okay, now it's going in fast mode. So basically, what I did was I um, just kind of put the colors where I felt like they should go. It's very relaxing, and I just kind of had fun with it. I didn't really try to make it look the best, and. I don't, didn't have like the best materials, you know, so it wasn't like, I'm not trying to be a master artist here, but anyways, like, I mostly just tried to have fun with this, and I suggest you guys do that too if you try this, just mostly because it's very relaxing, and you can do it well if you really try. I'm making it look nice and watercolory. I really enjoyed doing this one just because it was... It was really like re relaxing, relaxing, and they also did it on watercolor paper, and that really helps a lot with like wrinkling and stuff. So, yep. Now I'm kind of going in with the till green and then I stopped the camera because it was dying. So now I'm coming in with an old camera and it's a little less higher quality, but it's still okay. It's not 4K, but it's better than nothing. And I'm keeping on to that forest kind of greenish color tilly. And then I'm moving in with some purple. It's kind of getting mixed in with the green, but that's kind of the point. You just kind of want it to be abstract and kind of melt into each other is what I kind of took from it when I watched some of some videos that I saw about it and just a style of painting. So I just um, kind of just let it melt in with it and like have fun with it. Cause that's what it's, that's what you're doing it for. You're not doing it to be like all 
like fine lined and stuff like that. It's meant to be just kind of a relaxation technique. And so that's the way I kind of did it. So going like that. It actually took way longer. <laughs> I mean, that's obvious because it's in speedy motion. So now I'm just about done. This is gonna be my last color. And then voila, it's done. Now what all it has to do is dry. Just adding some final touches and I'm moving it out of the way. And then this is my this is the one that I made yesterday. Now I'm giving you some up close shots. And then I'm showing you the other one up close before it's dried. Okay, so this is another technique I wanted to try. You're basically just spl splattering the water colors all over the paper in different colors. You can't really see the colors that great in this one, but I'm getting very messy. And it's basically you're just trying to have fun and get the colors everywhere. And if it gets a little messy, that's okay because luckily watercolors come off the counter pretty easily and they're not too hard to get off on any surface really. Clothes may be a problem, but I've never really had that issue. So I'm just gonna finish up doing that and then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna move it away and I'm going to show you some of the, the the paintings and kind of get to see the finished effect and so this is the, here's a paint splatter one again after it's dried and this one looks good and then we're gonna go on to this one that I made today so I it's still a little wet and I wanted the circle to kind of be off center and it's not really a circle it's just and this one I did more dark Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to. See you guys next time. Bye.